Chances are you probably don't know who Ariane Pinky is. She was 18 years old, wanted to study journalism, and among the 123 people who have been murdered so far in Dallas this year. Tonight, crime reporter Tanya Iser continues to shine a light on victims, one case at a time. My mama. We are going to cover those murders that are often ignored. That was my baby. Put faces with names to the victims who have been murdered in our city. Morning. Good morning. Oh, I like jewelry. Let's get some jewelry. Let's Waking up right. early Saturday morning for yard sales. Oh, that is kind of cute. Is a pursuit of happiness. And deals. For Susan Pinckney. Oh, Lord. And her daughter's best friend, Aaliyah. We got some friendship bracelets now, girl. Hanging out. That is cute. Is how they heal. This is my favorite video. She's looking at video of her best friend, Arion. She was ready. Police say Arion died trying to protect her mother from her stepfather, Antonio Townsley. I had so many stab wounds. I had 19 under here. Susan still bears the wounds. Back, all back here. From the knife attack. They didn't think I was gonna make it. Well, we have her when she was a baby. Ariane graduated with honors from high school last year. She made it. I, we were so proud of her. A full college scholarship. So ambitious. And a plan to study journalism. My baby, she wanted to, she wanted to be something in life. Her mom wishes she had listened to her daughter. She could not stand him. Instead, her life ended at 18. She died trying to save her mom from him. She wanted to be away from that. She hated seeing her mom go through that. I just never knew that it'd get that bad to where she would be taken. The night Ariane died, Susan told Antonio she wanted a divorce. Uh, next thing I know, he was like, I'm tired of y'all, and just started slicing me. The weird part about it, I didn't feel nothing. Susan crawled to the phone and dialed 911. The tip of the knife still lodged in her back. She was like, please don't hurt me. Please, please don't hurt me. She begged him. Susan found a box at a yard sale and has filled it with mementos that remind her of Ariane. But she loved this necklace. Items like her daughter's Sharpie from her Starbucks job. If I start missing her, I'll look at these things. As she digs through the box, she can't feel anything in her left hand. He tried to chop my finger off. Susan didn't cry in front of the cameras. Uh, it's her 18th birthday. She smiled a lot. It helps to smile just so I won't feel so much anger. There are lessons for others in her story. If you don't see the red flags, it's just because you don't want to. They're, they're always there. If you feel like anything less of a woman, then that was a red flag. It's time to move on. See my bestie. Even though my best friend isn't here with us anymore, like she still lives through me every day. Aaliyah says her friend made her a better person. What happened, I just know she was taken from me like way too soon. She vows to break the cycle. Things are bad now, but they always get better. That's what she always told me. And to speak up if she sees signs of abuse again. Attitude on <laughs> Her mom wishes she had listened to her daughter. I would tell her I'm sorry. But still my soul. Tanya Iser, refuses to die. Channel 8 News. Mm -hmm. Takes a lot of courage to break the cycle. Ariane died in January. The suspect, Antonio Townsley, is still awaiting trial.